The name of the robot is CHIMP. It stands for uh, Carnegie Mellon Highly Intelligent Mobile Platform. Uh, and it's uh, modeled after a monkey. And the reason why we picked a monkey is that uh, monkeys are very good at getting around on all fours and they're very good at interacting with things in the environment using all four limbs. What makes our robot suited for the DRC task? It's stable, it doesn't need to balance while it's uh, exerting forces on the environment. So we tend to uh, grasp objects that are very heavy and our robot can exert a lot of force without worrying about keeping stable. We've actually developed the robot entirely in-house. So we have uh, just robotics experts in all things mechanical, software, electrical. And that's allowed us to put together an unprecedented robot in just about 12 months, which is a phenomenal uh, effort by the team. By uh, limiting the team to a single organization, we basically uh, gain the advantage of, uh, of having a team all in one place and, and all of the efficiency that, that goes with uh, a team that's co-located. Why are we going to win? Okay, Because we are picking a radically different concept uh, than the mainstream. Mm -hmm. So we feel like that concept will uh, allow us to sidestep a lot of the technical problems that others will be battling. And we think that uh, that will compensate for the fact that uh, we are starting from scratch, so to speak, in, in the development itself. I think the, the reward of being involved with a project like uh, DARPA Robotics Challenge is really pushing the forefront of what we can do with robots. I think we're reinventing the meaning of, of what a mobile manipulator is, and the robots that are going to come out of this challenge are going to be doing so much more than just search and rescue in the future.